Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to with the faithful Feb. Um, I will link everybody's channels down below. So go and check them. I normally do this every first Monday of the month. Um, this is still the the um, era, you know. Um, we've been doing this since the 1920s. I did miss a couple, but I'm trying to get back on track and fulfill the rest of um, with Faithful. So, yes, this is the 1990s. Month was my favorite, um, my favorite month. So, um, I was what elementary go elementary going into middle school and high school. I I lived my best life in those days. Um. So I'm not going to reference some pictures of some of the stuff that I did find of the 1990s look, but I'm going to reference my own uh, makeup trend. <laughs> um, that was the time that I was a little bit on the rebellious side. Um, I dressed like a boy and whew, my pants were two to three times bigger than my poor little body. I was about 90 to 100 pounds and a bigger pants than my brother. Well, my brother was doing the same thing, but <laughs> I was in the size of him. So, um, Ben Davis, you know, the shirts, Ben Davis, Dickies, the, the ones with the rhino, I can't figure out what those are, I can't remember, but those were the, those were the ones that I'm like, cry later shirts, the homies, the little homies shirts, what else do we have? Oh my god, we have so many things. Big old pants, or I'd wear my pants with a muscle shirt with my little belt hanging down <laughs> almost to my feet, you know. So, those were those were the good times. <laughs> How my mom let me go get of the house looking like that. I do not know. She would, she would complain though. She would be like, you're a little girl. Stop dressing like a bully. Wear pants that fit you. Don't show your boxers. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in to, let's do, yeah. The Natasha Denona, the gold palette, because this has some gorgeous browns. So that was what I would wear is brown and grays, mainly brown, with a lighter shade of foundation. <laughs> Never was my <laughs> color. Um, I was more, there, there was a lot of different, there was a lot of different, um, makeup, makeup looks. So there was glam, there was grungy, there was, um, the chola, you know, the chola look. That's kind of what I stuck with is... Um, more of wearing big bangs, the bandana, I'm going to do. Um, I mean, there's a lot of, I've seen a lot of um, pictures that grungy, they were glammed up. It was a lot of like real pastel-y looking colors, pastel looking colors, but I didn't use those, so that's what I'm going to do, is just kind of reference my own inner child. <laughs> so I'm going to go in to, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you what I went into, Aria, which is this one right here, and then I'm going to go into this one, which is Log, just using the same brush, I'm not, and I'm just going to take that all over, that was my, um, little rebellious time until I had um, got 
pregnant. I got pregnant when I was 15. Had her at 16 and did not. Um, I started dressing more of a girly girl. I stuck with the same shadows though. That's one thing I really did not um, get out of my element. Let's go into Natasha Denona Peak. We're gonna go into this color right here. And we're just gonna, it's matte and that's what I used to use. My thing was, oh God, I don't remember my, my makeup brand back then. We weren't, we were not rich at all. So I would get my stuff from 99 cent store. Or the grocery store. My Rare Beauty. This is probably a shade lighter than me. But for whatever reason, that was what I would do is I would go uh, on the lighter shade. Usually we did it with our hands. But I do not want to back then I was really really pale <laughs> really really light you can't really tell but it was like not my shade <laughs> so. so that was a good thing so I know we did not do bronzer but I just want to put just a tad just to give it a little bit more I'm going to go in with my mark just a tad so just kind of want to chisel out I did use blush. Um, I'm gonna go in with ambient. It was very, very, very subtle. I wasn't too into blush back then, so oh, just a subtle. I actually used the foundation, but I kind of forgot. So I'm so used to. one for both well actually I still do that so I used to use it for brows and lips so this is the essence I remember having to light mine lighter just to get it super dark brows and like so I didn't do and then it was the the really thin brows That's why my brows are I was so excited when my mom was my mom had allowed me to uh, pluck it I'm so excited because, man oh man, did I have a unibrow. So I'm just going to kind of comb this wing liner. Because that's what I would do. So I bat at it then. And I'm still bad at it now. And with... Anti precision, camp on D, anti precision, and so, and just this, and then I'm gonna go in with my brow pencil again. I'm gonna line my lips. This is in dark chocolate latte. So back then, I used to just use Carmix. Because I never wore, like, real lipstick. I use Carmex. I don't have... <clears throat> I'm going to take the Zoella Lip Plumper because it is clear. So, yeah, I used to use Carmex or Vaseline to get my lips. Okay, I will come back and complete the look by doing my hair or at least trying to do my hair <laughs> okay so here is the final look so I will link everybody's channels down below um, if you are coming from their channel to my channel thank you so much for taking time and just watching a video of mine I really do appreciate it and if you are going from my channel to their channel Show them some love if you like their content, subscribe to their channel, and um, let them know that I did send you, and yeah.
If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to join my little family, hit the subscribe button. Ring the notification bell just to get notified whenever I do upload a new video. Alright guys, see you guys in the next one. Bye!